Hey, what's up guys? Gordon Briley here, and I want to go over some of our fans that we offer. So we have two different types. We have a nylon covered band, and these are great because this nylon covering offers an additional safety feature because if the band ever snaps, which, you know, it's inevitable, um, this nylon will actually stop it from snapping and you know, possibly causing harm or damage to something. So these are really safe. They tend to be more expensive, uh, but these are kind of the preferred option uh, because again, that safety factor. And uh, they tend to be slightly better quality. There's a round uh, resistance band inside instead of this type, which we'll go over, uh, which I still love, but just for different uses. So this one, I actually had this developed because like anything that we sell, I don't like it to have a single purpose. Yes, you can do a lot of different exercises with it. That's great. But also, so we had this, this ring attached to it in the center. So now we can actually make this band serve more functions uh, and do so quickly. So. I have it connected to our rail system. Now we have essentially double the tension uh, by just having it connected on both ends to the rail system. And depending on what you want to do, this 20 pound band now essentially becomes a 40 pound band. So lots of different ways to utilize it with a simple tool that's added on. So that's on uh, in the store in the add on features. So you can pick those up or not pick them up. So it's up to you. Second is this more of a traditional latex band, uh, slightly more affordable. And these, most people are familiar with these. I love warming up with these, mobility uh, exercises. Uh, these are great for, plus uh, some of my loaded squats, so banded squats. Uh, I'll put the quick hooks on these on each end and then you can quickly hook to the bar. But again, these do not have the nylon covering, so they don't have that additional protection feature. So you have to be care careful with bands and really watch them and try to see when uh, there's some excessive wear and tear and then you just need to replace them at that point. Um, some people will actually, if they break, tie them and they actually still work pretty well. Um, but I'm gonna go over these sizes. So we just have the small version. Um, I love these ones and I love these because I'll buy several of them and quick connect. Let's say quick connect to the bar. I'll have, let's say three or four of these connected and to change the resistance, I could just pop one off real quick or add one real quick. And the chances of all of these breaking is very small. So I actually utilize these really small ones to essentially do what uh, some of these bigger ones do. So the bigger lifts, deadlifts, squats, I'll tend to probably use these with maybe a couple of these. So one of these and maybe two or three of these to, to build up the resistance, uh, that's one way that you can do it. Um, next we have the red, which is the medium resistance. There isn't really a way to give you a weight number. I could make it up, but it doesn't really make sense. Um, you could see the thickness, and if you're experienced with these, you probably know about the tension of these. Uh, and then we have the black, which is the thickest of the three. Uh, this is gonna be obviously your most difficult uh, resistance. And for most lifts, if you did deadlifts on the platform, uh, where it actually connects this way over the bar and you try to lift with more than one of these. Again, I would use one of these and maybe one or two of these and just awesome resistance, but these are really, really tough. So certain lifts, your bigger lifts, squats, deadlifts, stuff like that. Bench press is more likely gonna be here with maybe one of these or for some guys, you know, definitely black, but I just tend to get all of them or a couple of all of them. Again, they're more affordable. So just wanted to go over what we offer, uh, what they're all about, and why you would want one versus the other. So again, if you guys have questions, just reach out on 
Uh, Facebook is probably the easiest way so other people can uh, look and see those questions and maybe get the answers they're looking for. And then of course email or calling. So choose any of those options if you guys have questions. Thanks for listening.